that we carrying that slave master around in our fucking pockets all day. It's with me when I'm driving, taking a shit on the toilet, sleeping in my bed next to my wife. This damn thing is right there. Yo, Elliot. Yo, Elliot, I just saw your video last night about getting rid of comfort and how technology makes your mind dull, dead, and weak. I totally agree with this and feel like by noon, some days my brain has darted around 100 different topics and I feel like all of a sudden, boom, the day is over. I want to be firing on all cylinders and challenge myself. I'm getting a dumb phone and I'm getting rid of the TV and Xbox. I'm curious if you have any other suggestions besides this, even though I can't go too extreme because I have a wife and a young son. So I think you are doing just the, the basic. I think you're doing exactly what you should do. Getting rid of the, of the, the ball and chain, which is the smartphone is probably the most important thing that you can do because it's not like, when we went prior to the smartphone, when we wanted to entertain ourselves, we had to go to the entertainment station, right? I mean, even before gate like PlayStation existed, you would go to the arcade. You got to go to the place and you have to dedicate time to that entertainment. Even when we started bringing them in the house and we had laptops and, and desktop computers, you're going about your day, you're doing your thing, but then there was a time carved out for... I'm going to go entertain myself with this thing. I'm going to go on chat rooms or whatever, right? Back in the day. So there was, it was, it was, the technology was in its place. It was, I mean, a step towards where we are right now, but it was a bit more manageable because it was in its place. It has its place. One of the things I started to do when I realized that because I have this phone in my pocket, the entertainment place follows me. You know, you guys, I know you guys, some of you guys who were struggling with porn, think about the fact that back in the day with porn, you had to go to the porn store and buy VHS. Then you had to come home, put it in the VHS, and you had to sit at that TV and watch it. Now you carry porn around in your fucking pocket. The, the, there's a lot of problems with the sheer volume of stuff that we're exposed to and have access to. And, and I used to think that that made us free, but I've, I've realized now it actually makes us slaves to confusion. There's too much, but that's not what this rant is about. This rant is about the fact that we carry in that slave master around in our fucking pockets all day. It's with me when I'm driving, taking a shit on the toilet, sleeping in my bed next to my wife, this damn thing is right there. And I think the most important thing that we can do, I think the, the greatest impact that we can have is by putting it back in its place. So one of the things that I would do when I had a dumb phone, I still have my dumb phone, is I would keep my, I say this, keep your phone on its leash, right? I got a dog, right? I got a Malinois. Dogs are energetic. These are energetic dogs. And if this dog is off his leash, he's going to get into all kinds of freaking trouble. He's going to start, I'm going to find him gnawing on my furniture. I'm going to find him s sniffing in the garbage can, right? No matter how much I correct him, if he's not on his leash, he's just going to do whatever he wants. I got to, when he has his leash and he's in my hand and I pop him and I tell him, leave it, he leaves it, right? I have to instruct him all the time. I have to keep him on that leash so that he's manageable. This is what my coach teaches me. He says, if your dog is, if you want get your dog walking around without a leash, you're not going to be able to manage him. So my dog, if you guys even see in my videos, my dog walks around with a leash hanging off his neck. Because if he has a leash on, I can, whoop, get over here, whoop, stop that, whoop, right? So I can train him better. It's the same thing with the damn phone. If the phone is off the leash, it's going to run havoc in your life. The leash is the outlet. Keep it plugged in. Keep it plugged in. That's where the phone is. I don't bring my phone into my bedroom. There's a lot of places in my house I don't bring my phone. I keep it plugged in in my office at the table that I sit at in the kitchen. I leave it there. And so if you take it to the next step, well, that's the first step. That's the first step. The first step is put the device in its place, on its leash. Otherwise, it's a ball and chain for you. 
Number two, if you take it to the next level, and you t- you're doing some next level stuff. That's why I don't have any suggestions for you. I'm just giving you a rant on these ideas and, and I'm affirming that you're doing a good thing. Um, the next level is, okay, when I leave the house, I'm still leaving it on its leash. And the only way you can leave it on its leash, because we live in a time where essentially there's no pay phones, right? You want to talk to somebody, you dig into your pocket. You buy a dumb phone. And what's a dumb phone? A dumb phone is a phone that does, does one thing only, calls. It calls. If you try to text message from a dumb phone, you're going to be triple tapping those numbers and it's going to take you 10 minutes to say, honey, I'm almost home. You can't do it. Especially if you're driving. Right? Dumb phone. This phone is, phone is too dumb to talk to it and give, it, give the words, right? Talk to text. It's a dumb phone. It's a dumb ass phone. But when you have a dumb phone, you stay smart. Because you don't have the distractions. When you get a smartphone, you turn dumb because of all the distractions. So I think you're on the right track. I don't think you're going too extreme. You, it, like I said, there's two, there's two steps. There's multiple steps, obviously. But there's two steps that we're talking about. The first step is put that phone on its leash. The second step is get that dumb phone so that you can leave it on its leash even when you leave the house. And I think you're heading in the right direction, dude. Good job. Keep going. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from the coaching sessions that I have every week with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together for about four or five hours a week. We talk all things related to becoming kings in our lives in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word king, K-I-N-G. Me and my team will get back to the details and see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.